Good afternoon. My name is Said Osman. I'm the Director for Adult Services and Prevention here at Blackburn with Darnborough Council. Uh, I'm also acting as the Chief Executive uh, while Denise Park is, is, is on leave. Um, we're going to get some important updates from government today, and this is part of the ongoing work we're doing to try and protect our communities and to keep our communities safe. Um, we're constantly in dialogue with government, as you know, and we're working very closely with public health advisors to look at what is happening in Blackburn with Darwin, uh, how we're able to make progress on some of the challenges uh, that we have been uh, set, particularly from a point of view of the rising numbers of people with COVID-19 uh, infections. So what it really means for us is it's about being able to work with government to have enough confidence to try and get to a place where we can start to, to enjoy the freedoms and the easing of uh, various measures that have been imposed uh, for a good while now. And that's our prize really. So what we need to do is work together as communities to try and get to a point where our numbers of COVID infections are low and are sustained at a low level and are continuing to be managed lower than what would be of concern. Of course, COVID-19, unfortunately, doesn't have a cure and it works in such a way that people could be asymptomatic, so they could be ill, but they might not show any symptoms. And that's why it's really important for us to understand that we as Blackburn with Darwin have had to increase the amount of testing to try and get ahead of this, this, this terrible virus and to try and ensure that people are, are not um, naively or inadvertently taking this illness back home uh, where their parents, their loved ones or other people could get infected. So testing uh, and then tracing and then trying to get ahead of the infection to isolate it and stop it is really, really important for all of us. Uh, it's really important to say that uh, when government makes its announcements, it's going to talk very much about uh, clarifying some of the messages that we have been trying to engage our communities with. We know that part of the challenge here is about community transmission of COVID. This means that COVID is not being transmitted in uh, formal places that are COVID safe and COVID secure. It's being transmitted from house to house through social contact. It could mean that people are, are still uh, not taking enough precaution around hand washing or around wearing face masks or potentially are uh, hugging each other and shaking hands. And whilst all of these things are things that we, we all uh, understand as being part of the fabric of, of us being uh, uh, communities and, and friends, it's really important for us to continue to get those messages across that community transmission is through social contact. So the messages will talk about um, being a bit more careful about visiting people and we're trying to go to a place where there will be no visiting of different households, but making sure that the people you live with, you can still enjoy time with them. You can still spend time with them in your garden. You can uh, still go to the restaurant with them or to the pub with them. It's the people you live with that are your, your closest immediate household and they're the ones that you should protect and they're the ones that you should uh, participate in, in leisure and other activities. It's also important to point out here that um, we have unfortunately uh, had uh, restrictions uh, that have not been lifted, such as on the leisure industry, salons, etc. And we know that uh, this is something where um, a lot of people are concerned. We as a local authority are continuing to work with government to try and find a solution to a balanced approach. But we can only do that when we can convince government that our numbers are coming down and that we are making sufficient progress. We've asked government for further support and that is to ensure that we've got reliability in being able to provide the, the offer of testing free to everybody and irrespective of whether or not you have got any symptoms of COVID-19, we still want you to know that this is a free test. And you may ask yourself the question as to why should I get tested 
if I am not suffering any illness or if I'm not showing any symptoms. And it comes down to what I said earlier, that it's really important that you protect your loved ones, but that you understand that this virus can have an effect where it does not show any symptoms on the person that is carrying the virus. And therefore, we're going to have to test and we're going to have to test again. And in some settings, it's about confidence. So when I say it's about confidence, it's about confidence to be able to to sit in a taxi. It's confidence to be able to go to to a pub or a restaurant. It's confidence to be able to go shopping. And it's really important that we do get the testing done. And once we've got the testing done, it's important that we can work with you. If you have tested positive, then it's really important you isolate and that you seek support if you are having difficulties in terms of hardship, uh, for food or for any other means. We're here to help. We've got the Blackburn with Darwin Hub. It's here to help you and we want to give you that support. But it's also important to recognise that if you have tested positive and you've got other people in your household, they must also isolate and they must not have social contact with other people uh, for the number of days that's stipulated. So we we immediately, that means you all isolate, but then it means that as soon as you can, you need to get tested so that we're able to look at what happens through transmission. So get tested, isolate, help us with tracing, anybody you've been in contact with, let's keep them safe as well. So work with us on getting tested, isolating, and making sure that we can track people who we need to protect who may well have come into contact and may, may well have caught the infection as well. So it's really important we do that. For residents, we've had certain issues, unfortunately, that we do need to address. And I have to say quite uh, with some sadness, really, that there are a lot of people who are uh, doing everything possible. They're wearing masks, they're, they're hand washing, they're social distancing, and there are many, many other people whose businesses and their livelihoods are suffering as a result of the ongoing restrictions. But sadly, within this, there are still some people who will not understand the message. And I would make a personal plea to all of you that you have a personal responsibility. COVID is not some hype. It's not some agenda. Uh, there's no conspiracy theory. It is a real deadly virus. It will kill people in its worst effect, and it'll probably kill those who are most vulnerable. So don't feel like you're invincible. Please take precautions, take this seriously. Uh, please adhere to the guidance that we're giving to socially isolate, to have two meter distancing, to ensure you wear a face mask, to ensure that you were hand washing regularly, and to ensure that you are not taking something home to your grandmother, to your mother, to your father or your children, and you're not making somebody seriously ill that could lead to their death. And I sincerely mean that because I've got an elderly mother and I would not want to bring any harm to her. I've got young children. Uh, again, I would not want to bring any harm to them. And I've got many friends and colleagues that I hope to spend much time with in the future. And therefore, I hope you too can take this message really responsibly. So this message today for me is, is really about reassuring the residents that we are doing everything we can with government. We're trying to bring additional resources into to Blackburn with Darwin. We are still fighting this battle, but we all need to do this together. We need to work together to try and get ahead of this COVID-19 virus. We need to, to trace it, track it. We need to stop it. And if we can stop it, then that will mean we will be able to return back to some sense of normality.